service. Yes, it is. This is where we get our nourishment. Yes. Our nourishment comes from him. Yes. Glory to God. And we bless him for everything that he has done and whatever he's going to do. Yes. Glory to God. And I thank God for, sister, for Brother Daniel stating what he stated, that oftentimes we need that nourishment. Yes. We need to be fed, even though those people sometimes are around us. Yes but oftentimes cannot see what we're dealing with yes. inner turmoil. Yes. And so we need that. And yes. we are helpers one to another. Yes. Glory to God. We don't realize how there is strength in fellowship. Uh -huh. You better say and that. And there is strength in unity. Yes. That's why the Bible tells us to forsake not to assemble ourselves together. Yes. It's good yes. when we come together. Yes, it is. And there should be unity in the body of Christ. Yes. He said when your brother is weak, you be their strength. Yes. Glory to God. And that's what God is doing. Glory to God. We thank you, Father. Father, as we prepare to eat this whole word, yes, oh God. God. We ask, oh God, that you would give us understanding. In the name of Jesus. Because you told us in all things to get an understanding. Yes. You also said, God, that you want us to be illuminated in yes, the spirit. Father, illuminate and open our eyes wide. In the name of Jesus. Sharpen our discernment, in oh God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let your word have its free course. Yes, God. We come against distractions. We yes, cast God. out hindrances. Yes, God. Yes, God. In the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because your word is a road map to our lives. Yes. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Now, Lord, we're asking you to fill our cups up today. In the name of Jesus. And call it to overflow. Hallelujah. We need the overflow today. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we Jesus. give you glory today. Yes, God. And we give you honor. In the name of in Jesus. Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Do you Hallelujah. got your Bible? Yes, Lord. Glory to God. <laughs> All right. This is our Bible motto. Yes, Lord. You ready? Yes, Lord Jesus. This is my Bible. This is my Bible. It's the only infallible holy written word of God. It's the only infallible holy written word of God. There is no error. There is no error. In the holy word of God. In the holy word of God. I will open my ears. I will open my ears. And my heart. And my heart. And receive the and word. Receive the word. Of God. Of God. With gladness. With gladness. I am a master student. I am a master student. Of God's word. Of God's word. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Now give him glory before you take your seat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Wonderful, Jesus. Glory to God. He's the lover of our soul. Yes. And he's the lover of our soul and the keeper of our lives. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You leaving? Okay, God bless you. Okay. God bless you, Daniel. All right. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless the name of our God. Thank you. My, my, my. Touch his heart. Touch his mind. Yes, Lord. Jesus' name. Glory to God. Have your word, God. Bless the holy name of our God. How many are glad for the word of God? Yes. There is a word from the Lord today. Glory yes. to God. And we Lord. bless him today. And we glorify him. I think I'm, I know I'm more than six feet apart from everybody. Uh -huh. So I'm Come just going to pull on. this down. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. Amen now. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And so we just praise the name of our Lord today. I, I, I Today I just felt energized in my spirit, man, to know that God is coming through and he's preparing some great things for us. Yes. And so uh, we ought to just get in expectancy and stay in expectancy because he's getting ready to blow our minds for the good. Yes. Glory, Glory to God. God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. But we're going to the scriptures today. Yeah. Glory to God. Ephesians, the first chapter, and the 19th through the 20th is our key. But I want us to read 19 through 23. That's Ephesians 1, 19 through 23. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, is the exceeding greatness of his power mm -hmm. uh, to us, towards us men, uh -huh. who believe, according to the working of his mighty power. Yes. Which he wrought in Christ uh -huh. when he raised him from the dead yes. and set him at his own right hand yes. in the heavenly places, uh -huh. far above all principalities and power and might mm -hmm. and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, 
but also in that which is to come. Mm -hmm. And have put all things under his feet. Yes, he did. And gave him to be the head over all things mm -hmm. to the church, which is the body and fullness of him that fills all in all. Amen. Glory to God. And so that is our scripture basis where we're going to go out of and feed today. Yes. And so um, as the Lord was dealing with me about, he began to put a song through in my spirit in order to get this message. Yes. And he began to tell me to fly the logo. Huh? And I said, okay, God, fly the logo. Yeah. So I couldn't, I had to sit and study the song to see exactly and get the lyrics to see wow. what he was trying to get the message to me because he woke me up with it wow. uh, out of my sleep. Yeah. And so I be said, okay, God, and it was like a concert stereo. And that's how God deals with me. Yeah. A lot of songs that come to me when it's like a concert stereo, it's a message yeah. that he's trying to get to me via song. Yes. And so he began to say, fly the logo. So I began to see and study what logo means. We know fly is movement like birds. They fly yeah, in the air yeah, yeah. and it's movement. But he began to say logo. Mm -hmm. So I looked up logo and it says it's a design or a symbol used by a company to advertise its products. Mm -hmm. It's a sign or a symbol used by its company to advertise its products. Yeah, all right. You get it? Yeah. It's a design and a symbol used by a company to advertise its products. So he was showing me fly the logo. Yeah. I belong to him. We are a part of his company. Yeah. It's time for you to advertise oh, you my products. You better revelate. And my products are power. I'm ready for you to demonstrate my word and the power that I've invested in you. And so the Lord spoke to me to fly the logo through the message of this song. And I had to ask him, Lord, what are you saying? So I began to, to research the lyrics and the Lord revealed that I must fly the logos means that I must represent Christ and his kingdom. And I must continue to advertise that symbol. And that symbol is the cross. That symbol is his blood. That symbol is the demonstration of his power. We always been confessing, praying, and speaking that we want to see signs, wonders, and miracles. Well, this is the time and this is that season. Hallelujah. In these last and evil days, we need godly and holy representation yes, as never before. Yes, Lord. As never before. Yes. We are Christ walking billboards. As I said on Wednesday and I say again today, as believers, we are the greatest representation yes. in the earth that we can show fallen humanity of a true and a living God you that is full of hope. That full of expectancy, full of love, yes. and full of power. That's what that. they need to see. You better say that. And this dark and dying world needs to see life. Yes. They need to see somebody excited about yes. life yes. that is wanting to live this life. Hallelujah. Not acting like Jesus Christ is a taskmaster. Not acting like this is a hard thing for you to do. You this is not a hard way. The, the, the sins and the life of a transgressor is hard. Yes, that's what the, the Bible word, says. That's the word, that's the word. Glory to God. But this dark and dying world needs to see light. Glory to God. They need to see hope. Yes. And he is the hope of glory. Yes. He is the God that we got something to look forward yes. to. Thank we God. don't have no dead end in God. Hallelujah. We need to see examples in the earth. Hallelujah. God is looking for examples. Yes, he is. All of us have something that God has invested in us yes. that he's wanting to demonstrate in the earth yes. and we have many things yes. that he has took us through wow. many experiences yes. that he's ready to use us in the earth yes. in order to share with somebody yes. that feels like they're going through the most horrible time in their lives and they will never make it out glory to God Hallelujah. what we're seeing is that I often think about how people are going through different things. I thought about how the man that had no hope, I, I'm convinced. Yeah. There was no hope in sight for the man just walk on I-5. And then I just saw a news story uh, today, it was another one, yeah. that just walked on the thing and just no hope. Yeah. Just go, poof, be gone, run me over because I'm in pain. Yeah. It's hopelessness in the land, y'all. Yes, yes, Glory to God. These things that we have been through in this pandemic, yeah. people that did not have God, 
before him, they are at a point of uncertainty. They are fearful of the future. They need to know what's next. But only if they will put their hands in the hand of the man that steals the water. If they would only come to the beckoning of Jesus Christ and the plan that he has for humanity to preserve and save their souls from a dying hell, they would live a more fruitful and a full life. Glory to God. Examples in the earth. Everybody, somebody needs to know. Humanity needs to know. Even this lady you said in the shelter and those that have dealt with trauma and things naturally and spiritually. Yes, those yes. that have dealt with stuff in the church that has not been favorable for them and they got church hurt yes. and those things. They need to see an example. Yes. They need to know that everybody yes. has not succumbed to deceptiveness. Everybody has not succumbed yes. to evil. Everybody has not succumbed to hatred. Everybody has not succumbed oh God to trickery and, and sabotage. They need to know. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I ain't going to get ahead of myself, but I feel the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Ephesians 1, 19 through 23 that we read here. Glory to God. Apostle Paul was here speaking about the immeasurable greatness of God's power made available to us by faith. Yes. And our lives will be an advertisement of this immense power as it works through us. I don't understand as I see, and I've been observing even some services online. I've been observing in some services. We've been in a pandemic for two years, and you didn't have your tail at home sitting on the lazy boy and all that. It wasn't the time to eat bonbons and fiddle your thumbs. It was the time to get more God. You went through the pandemic for a reason. You don't sit at home for two years and then come out the pandemic and you're more drier than you went in. Something's wrong with the body of Christ. God wants to demonstrate his power. He's ready for his power to be shown. He's ready for it to be shown in the earth. That it would dispel the myth of the skeptics. That it will silence the argument of the enemy. Yeah. 
was telling me that none of these things that men do Jesus. ain't no contest for his power. My Lord. My Lord. None. none. You can't compete with God. No, you cannot. You cannot do it. My God. I don't care who you think you are. Yes. I don't care where you travel. Yes. I don't care how much of a scholar you is. Yes. You're no contest for the power of God. Hallelujah. The apostle Paul says, we need to experience yes. the immeasurable greatness right. of God's power. Yes, Lord. When something is in immeasurable, it ain't enough yardsticks or tape. Because there's no end. Yes, Lord. Just like the sea has no depth. Just like you can't even measure the floor of the sea. Jesus. We don't even know how deep that thing goes. Because it's a certain point the way God made humanity. That humans can't even go too far. Okay, without too much mother for their head. Popping off and blowing up. Church be 
trying to use its leader. Come on now. Always want somebody to do something for free and charity work. Yes. But the Bible says in 1 Timothy 2 and 18, when you call Pastor Toby, you hired me. That's right. That's right. That's the word. But we got a prostituting spirit. Yes. And this is why a lot of good talent and things leave from the church and go where the world where they'll get paid for. That's right. It's the truth anyhow. Because we got usury. My God. And there's plenty of it. Yes, it is. In the body of Christ. Well, we don't appreciate one Jesus, another Jesus. and really thank God for the giftings and the anointings and the things that he has put in our midst. That's right. Thank and we don't Lord. appreciate nobody until they move and somebody else appreciates. Come on now. Jesus help us. Jesus, help us, God. Help but the immeasurable greatness of God's power was made available to us through faith. Then our lives will be advertisements of immense power. He want to make us an advertisement. Yes. I began to study about power and look in the Greek. Yes. And the Greek had three definitions of talking about power. Oh, Lord. The first one, it says energy on. That's E-N-E-R-G-I-O-N. -E -E energy on. Mm. Okay. And that's supernatural energy. Yeah. That's that part when people come in contact with us. Yeah. Well, you know. How in this house. Okay, but when they come in contact with us, because I remember the saints of old, like my grandmother and her grandfather friends, they wouldn't even touch each other. No. Like as we was always explaining us, her and Mother Adams. Yep. And they would just walk past one another and begin to quicken and, 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 and talk and begin to quicken in the spirit. Because that's that supernatural energy. Because they both were full of the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. Look how Elizabeth. And Mary's baby leaped. Yeah. They didn't touch each other. You that was just Jesus. their energy, mother. This is what we need to have. We need the Holy Ghost. Yes. And we need to be full of the Word. Yes, yes, and if you yes. don't want it, you need to get it. Yes. It's available to all men. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory Jesus. to God. Jesus. It was showing here how the immense, the Greek, Shows that it's called energy on, which means supernatural energy. Yes. Then the second thing, My it says Kratos, yes. which means power, yes. just straight out power. Yes. Power belongs to God. Yes, yes, it does. See, this is where man gets it twisted. Yes, exactly. Power belongs to God. You better yes, he ain't going to share his power with no man. No. No. He ain't going to share it in that sense where you think you over God. Let me make that disclaimer. Yes. But he does give us influence yes. and headship and leadership. Yes. And we are little gods, demigods, but we ain't above God. That's right. Hallelujah. So power belongs to God. Uh -huh. Satan has a similar power. Let's get Hebrews 2 and 14 and 15. My Lord. But his power is power of death. That's what his power is. You don't believe me? I studied this. Let's get it in the word. <laughs> Amen. Hebrews 2, 14 and 15. For as much then as the children are partakers of the flesh uh -huh. and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same. Uh -huh. That through death he might destroy him that uh -huh. had the power of death, yes. that is the devil, yes, and deliver them who uh -huh. through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Exactly. So Satan only has the power of death, but God has all power. And all power belongs to God. Glory to God. The third thing that we talk about with power is called iskus. I-S-K-U-S. It means strength or might. Just like Samson was strong. Yes. And he had to pull down pillars. He could push something and just pull and destroy stuff. Amen. Glory to God. That's that kind of strength and that might. Yes. That's why God said it's not by might no. nor by power, but by my spirit, yes. saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You're going to need power to do this life. Yes, Lord Jesus. Oh, yes, he is. God is girding us up. Yes, he is. He's getting us ready. Yes, he is. He's getting us ready, mother. He's getting us ready, sister Linda. We better be on one accord, hallelujah. Because he's getting us ready because the harvest is coming. The harvest is coming. The harvest is coming. I prophesy the harvest is coming. Glory to 
God. And he sent it in with power. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ephesians 6 and 10. Glory to God. Talks about it. It says, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And this is where we try to be strong in ourselves and we fail every time. We need, he says, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. Find your strength in the Lord. Find your strength in the Lord. Because we try to do things in our own strength. That's why we become wonders. That's why we become failing. We try to be something we're not. We ain't been graced for that. You ain't went through it. You try to operate in something that you know that you ain't called to do. That's why you got to wait for your calling and make sure it's ready. And wait for the anointing until God endues you with power from on high. Hallelujah. He said, fly the logo, Pastor Kumi. In the power of his might. Yes. So we're under the umbrella. Yes, Lord. We're advertising because we're in the company. My Lord. Okay, this is his company. My Lord. This is his body. Yes. And so we're in the company. My God. So we're advertising what is in, in his word. company. Hallelujah. In the word. Huh? I'm getting to it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey. And so he began to show us. As Paul was explaining that God's power is so great that it cannot be measured. It cannot be quantified. That's why we use the term. And we use that term when we say that a quality is better than quantity. So God's power is so quality. It's better than quantity. <laughs> it's just immeasurable. There's not a yard take nothing that you can measure because it's extended beyond it goes beyond what we can even possess that's why he's having us get these bodies together because you can't carry the anointing in no sick body you can't carry no anointing in no unhealed body because it will wear you out that's why he got me drinking my green shake glory to God and exercising because what he getting ready to work through us we gotta be have that energy we gotta have that energy on that supernatural energy to operate so we won't be out of huffing and puffing glory to God this is what he's having us do and so it started his power started in Genesis 1 and 1 when he said and God created, hallelujah, the whole entire world in seven days. It started then with God's power. When God called Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt, he used his power to demonstrate and prove to those that thought that they were superior than God. And you got a lot of people think they're superior than God. Even you got some preachers, pastors, bishops, and prophets that think they're superior to God because they don't know their place. And we need to get to a place to remain humble as leadership. And I don't care what he has gifted us. And even prophets, even though he reveals his mysteries to me and I see people that I don't know and revelate things that I don't see know nothing about, yes. but let God reveal, because he said he don't reveal his mysteries, but only to his prophets, yes. but that don't give me no right to make my own self a God, that don't give me no right to tell people like they should come to me, whether they live, move, or have their being, yes. uh-uh, you point them back to the cross. Yes, hallelujah, Jesus. We ain't no personal Jesus is. Amen, now, you better say that. You got <laughs> prophecy junkies, Going to a prophet before they bend their knee to even talk to God. Come on now. It's the truth anyhow. Miss me. Truth anyhow. Going to a prophet. Well, do you think with it? Yes, we do go to those that are spiritual. Oh, yeah. But did you talk to the all 
flood through us. The Lord wants to infill us and flood us with his power. That's where the overflow comes in. We got to get to the point where we need some overflow. We fight some serious devils. People are bound with so much sin. They're heavy laden with burdens. Heavy laden with sin. We got to be able to have the power of the Holy Ghost to break these things off of them. Yes, hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. And we know, as the Bible showed, that some things come out by fasting and praying, yeah. and some comes, not oftentimes immediately, but as they went, yeah. God delivers. Yes. Let's put that disclaimer in oh, there. Yes. Oh, yes. Not that we don't have the power, but he wants to work a work. Yes. So let him do it. Hallelujah. Amen. His power needs to be displayed. Yes. We tired of lip service. Yes. You better say that. We need to see the demonstration, tangible power, signs, wonders, and miracles. Yes. This is what he's calling this 21st century church to do. To rise up in power. To rise up in authority. To rise up and take the word. Take the word into the hedges and the highways. Compel men to come unto Jesus. We thank God for our testimonies. And it's good to tell our testimonies. But give people the word. Saturate them with the word. Saturate them with the As a beacon of hope to a fearful and a dying and a lost world. Hallelujah. So many people are uncertain of their future. Yes, they are. And we need to let them know we don't have to be scared about our future. Because we know who holds our future. He's already in our tomorrow. He knows today what's going to be going on Monday. Yes, he do. Thank you, Father. That's why we got to stay in his will. Yes. That's why we got to stay in the word. Yes, Lord. That's why we got to stay praying and seeking him. Amen. That he will reveal. Yes. Thank you, Father. Some of the things that God reveals to me and write down, I just be like, Lord. Yeah. Jesus. What, what am I going to do with that? Yeah. Why do I need to do that? Mama. But the things, I had to stop saying those things. Yeah, exactly. Because it's, you're his spokeswoman. Yeah. You're his prophetess. That's right. God is speaking to you and revealing to you. Yes. Pray for those individuals. Yes. Call them individuals out of muck in the miry place. Yes. Because some of them, yes, it's good to pray for them, yes. but I got to open my mouth wide and call them from them dark yes. places. Hallelujah, Jesus. Call them out. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God because yes. God had need of them. Yes. And the one I told you about, Miss D, she can say, say, Father, the Holy Ghost. Yes. <laughs> She's going to be bad. Bad sister. Uh, the mother's born. <laughs> Y'all better scoot over. <laughs> Name in your own pew. You better slide to the side. Because she will sew it up. Do you hear me? Because she had been there, done that. And she would be a great help to women. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And God going to draw her. Holy Ghost. Because it shows me if he had time to show me, that means he's still ready to work with me. He got mercy enough for her. He still got a time and a window that he's ready for her to come home, come to him. Jesus. Glory to God. Because he could have just destroyed and took out. Yes. <laughs> but he still showed enough to time Wonderful. to show an intercessory wow. yes. and an intercessor that would pray. Yes. Now I'm talking about well, girl, you know they just need to come on in. Uh-uh. No, he don't. No, exactly. Sometimes people, they want them to come in. Yes, they do. But they bound by a lot of stuff. Yes, they are. And yes, and a lot of the saints is in the way. <laughs> yes. Exactly the reason why they can't come. And it's sad. I told y'all when we get to the state of celebrity status, I bet not see not one person in this church going up to nobody's view when you see them celebrities coming over there asking for no autographs and wanting to take no pictures. They souls need to be saved. Their souls need to be ministered to. It ain't no uh, celeb and who's special and, and this and that and the other. Yes, they may be on the front row because out of their status or influence, but in the midst of that, you we should know that. They need Jesus. That's right. And anybody that we should be trying to get a signal from should be Jesus Christ. We should be trying to get him to endorse us. Glory to God. They just a mere man and a mere woman. Glory to God. If anybody you want to take a picture, cheese, Jesus sees me. He knows me. Yeah, since y'all was one of my fingers. Yeah. 
mother flow. <laughs> it says, okay, because he's flowing when he's rapping. Yeah. And he said, I've been living in this word. Yeah. So that's why the flow can come easy. Yeah. And you wonder why? Uh -huh. What you see in PRHM? Yeah. Because we've been living in the flow. Yeah. That's why it can flow. And we've been living in the word. You that's preach. why you don't got to crank it up, I've been telling you. Yeah. You don't have to pull it like a lawnmower. Yeah. Because we've been living in the word. Yeah. We've been staying on our post. Uh, even at times discouraged. Uh, even at times. You better preach. You better preach. Even at times when we was like, God, how much more? Yeah. I've been teasing glory to God. Yeah. I've been teasing mama because I got a little inside joke. Yeah. I said, sometimes I feel like Twinkie Clock. Yeah. When she wrote that song. Yeah. Lord, when she said, Lord, I'm tired. It's my limit in vain. Yeah. I've been praying this organ. <laughs> she been saying that, and I've been saying sometimes I get to teasing. I said, God, I've been on my post at PRG. Yes, you have. I've been teaching and preaching all my yes, life. I've been praying and speaking into the yes, lives of people. Yes. When are you going to see about us? Yes, Lord Jesus. When you going to step in and make the devil out of our life? Yes. When are you going to shut the mouth of the game and say, Hallelujah. When are you Yes, God, yes, God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My, my, my. And those and dispel the myths of all my, the skeptics my, my, my. Amen. who said that God didn't call us. Yes, Lord. I don't argue about it. No. Nope. I don't hunt them down. No. Nope. You know that God is with us. That's right. That's why you don't frequent here. Hallelujah. That's why you don't come to get with us. Jesus. Because you're intimidated. Yes. You're jealous. Glory yes. to God. Yes, it yes. is. What it is. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. I ain't hunting you down. Jesus. Glory to God. Glory but it God. states in the song, in the lyrics, it says, I've been living in the word. And that's the reason for the flow. Jesus. So it shows, mother. Yes, it does. What you've done in them two years in the pandemic. Yes. How we still on fire now. Yes, Lord. Because even if our doors was closed and they closed for about what, four or five months? Yeah. Because it was mandatory that all churches closed. Yeah. But yet and still, we kept that fire going online. Oh, yes, we did. We kept that fire going in our houses. Yes, Lord Jesus. We kept that fire going, getting in that work. Yes. We didn't stop just because it wasn't nothing going on. Hallelujah. But we maintained and possessed our own vessel. Mother. Yes, we did. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory, glory, so it glory. shows what you do in one season from the next season. Yes. If you've been abiding, well, have you been abiding? Yes, Lord Jesus. In the true mind. Many haven't been abiding in the true mind. No, nope, not at they all. They have succumbed to what this pandemic news said. Yes. They have succumbed to what science said. They have succumbed to all of it. Yes, they have. Glory to God. But I've been living in the word, and that's the reason for the flow. Hallelujah. That's why Jesus. people get baffled sometimes. Not to pop our own collars or pep our own stuff up. Because we are nothing without God. That's right. That's why I said when people say, oh, I preach, you didn't do squat. Hallelujah. You didn't do nothing. The Bible says that the word of God was breathed into man. And he can't speak it unless he give it to you. You better say that. Loose here. Glory to God. He did nothing. Come on now. Glory to God. How the word and the spirit flows freely is because of what God not only has invested in us, yes. but we have applied ourselves. Yes, us. yes, yes. We have applied. Hallelujah. Glory Jesus. to God. Thank you, God. In the last two years, what the whole world has went through with the pandemic, yes, much death, yes. tragedy, catastrophic things, wow. and storms and tornadoes, yes, one Lord. thing after the other, yes, lost Lord. family yes, members, Lord. Yes, Lord. all of these things that God said that he was going to do to sensitize man, yes. And no one believed. Everybody just thought it's just gonna be a little scratch and a band-aid. But no, all of these things. My God. But it's time for people and humanity yeah. to put their trust in God. Yes. Evangelist told us that three weeks ago. Yes. It's time for us to put our trust in God. Yes. Total to trust. hope and believe again. Total to trust. turn our faith over to Jesus Christ. Yes. And it's just a matter of time, mother. Amen. Now. God's word. No, okay. He said the harvest was coming. Yeah. It's going to be so bad. Some of them have got to the point wow. where it's so bad on 
around them. So many crazy things are happening. They just feel mentally unstable. They don't know which way to go, which way to turn. They're just like, what's next? I hear a lot of people saying, what's next? But when you serve God, when you know who he is, when you got that measurable power and experience with him, you know what's next. You know that he's in control. You know that he has not lost control. That our life is in his hands. And no man can pluck us out of his hands. Yes. They're trying to formulate things to find out what can cure yes. 
a, 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 a parasite or a cure, what's a spreading, yeah. a disease control. Yeah. They're always looking for the antidote. Yes, they are. We got the antidote. Yes, we do. We got Jesus Christ. Yes. That will relieve man of his turmoil. Yes, it will. Man doesn't know that they forfeit peace. Yes, they are. Man does not know that they forfeit. Yes, they are. A true love in God. Yes. Someone that will never betray you, somebody that won't use you, come on. somebody that just won't like you for two or three seasons come and then they're done with on, you. Come on. They are forfeiting love. Yes, they are. They are forfeiting peace. They are forfeiting the joy that they try to find in the bottle, in the blood. They try to, they're forfeiting it. Yes, they are. They try to find it in men and women and money yes. and power, yes. but they're forfeiting it. Jesus. There ain't no peace without God. No, it's not. But the body of Christ and the believers, we got the antidote, Hallelujah, which is the power of the Holy Ghost the and Lord. the anointing. Yes, the Bible says after that in Acts 1 and 8, it says after that, that the Holy Ghost come upon you, ye yes. shall receive power. Yes, that's the word. That's it. We're supposed to all be power carriers. That's the word. It ain't just for pastors. Come on now. It ain't just for altar workers. Come on now. All of us should carry power. Yes. Do you got the power? Come on now. Hallelujah. We all Jesus. should have that power. Yes, God. That we're full of the Holy Ghost, full of the Word. Yes, Glory Lord to God. Jesus. Hallelujah. We have the anointing that destroys yokes. Yes, God. Glory to God. We need to get filled, stay filled, and be filled. Yes. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Putting on that whole armor of God. As Ephesians talk about yes. in the sixth chapter. Oh, yes. Having it girded on our heads. Glory to God. Yes, Lord Jesus. It talks about that whole armor of God. Oh, yes. That he may be able to withstand the evil day. Having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins girt yes. about with truth. Having on the breastplate of righteousness. Yes. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. So when you come, you don't come with mess. You don't come with hell. You don't come with hatred. You don't have your feet don't come with jealousy. But your feet come in peace. Yes, there you go. That's what the word says. That's the word. It says, above all, taking on the shield of faith. Wherewith you be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit, yeah. which is the what? Word of God. Yeah. We need that word. Yeah. That is our sword. That is our power. My, my, my. That annihilates the enemy. Yes, it does. He said, blood, man, don't live by bread alone, but every word yes, that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Yes, Lord. That's the scripture. That is the scripture, mother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus. That's the word. Yes, Lord Jesus. It says, and take on that helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Yes, God. Praying always Sometimes. with all prayer and supplication yes. in the spirit, watching thereunto with all perseverance yes. and supplication for all saints. Yes. The way you get perseverance is prayer. Yes. Come on now. That's how you get your Wheaties. Come on now. That's where you draw strength. Yes. You're drawing strength from people. Yeah. I always tell people, if you look to people to keep you afloat and encouraged and validated, exactly. you're going to wither. Exactly. You're going to die. Jesus. 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 I'm telling you 100. You better revelate. If you look to man to always encourage you, you is smart. You can do it. Stay obedient. The Lord loves you. Come on to church. God has need of you. If you are always looking to somebody to pat you on the back yes. and tell you that you're doing good, yes. you are going to wither. Yes. Do you hear me, social media? It's the truth anyhow. If you are always looking for your husband or your wife to tell you how grand you are, how much you love them, Preach. and they love you, Preach. you are going to wither. Preach. It's the truth anyhow. Wow. Even in a good marriage, even with a godly marriage. Wow. That person is there to y'all walk through life to fulfill kingdom business. Yes, there you go. They ain't supposed to be your everything. Come on now. They ain't supposed to be the person that gives you joy so you can leap over the views. Well, they ain't the one that's supposed to make you happy. Will you make it plain? Will you make it That's plain? what's wrong with all these marriages. <laughs> Everybody think that it's just going to get better and they're going to be super happy as long as they get married. Yep. No. No. You gotta live with 
when God puts people together, yeah, you know now, okay, now. when you guys get together, that's something else. Yeah, you you better say that. It's your lust. <laughs> you know, you y'all getting that. together because y'all both got credentials. Yeah. Come on. You're getting together because y'all want to achieve this financially. Yes. Oh, it's the motives now, y'all. Yes, it is. You really got to go on a 30-day fast before you marry anybody. Yes. You hear me? Glory to God. Because you got to make sure motives is pure and in place. Yes. And most importantly, you got to make sure that God is truly in that heart. Yes, Lord Jesus. You hear me? Because I ain't got time. Because I told the Lord, Lord, I don't feel like shaking nobody. And you didn't give me a prison ministry. Yeah, exactly. Okay? Thank you, Lord. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So, Keep it 100. There's 100, mother. Yes. So he going to have to really be in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is our time to represent Jesus Christ and the power of his salvation. Yeah. He's telling us, PRGM, yes. continue, not that we have, but make a deliberate, intentional yes. reason to fly the logo. Yes, Lord Jesus. We're working for the company, which is Jesus Christ's company. Yes, Lord. Advertise for him. Amen. Be a walking billboard yes. that men can look upon us and look upon our lives. And said, it's something different about me. Oh, I felt different or tingling when you walk past me. Yeah. Or something. Every time you speak or say something, yeah. it's something in your voice. Glory to God. Sometimes they don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> like yesterday. <laughs> Start playing church songs. <laughs> we was taking care of some business on the phone. And so I had to intervene because they was frustrating mama. Yep. So I had to step in. Look here. Yep. I took authority. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is not happening today. Yep. Glory yep. to God. And so I know this call is being recorded. So yep. I'm getting ready to get y'all all together. Yep. So yep. your CEO can hear about it. Yep. So anyway, I began to tell her. Oh, you know, it's something in your voice. It's just something in your voice. Yeah, I said, yeah, that's that authority. Yeah, exactly. And that's the anointing of God. <laughs> Glory to God. And she, well, can I just put you on hold? When she put us on hold, I ain't never heard a national company paying church songs. Yeah, exactly. Hallelujah. She was singing a hallelujah song. <laughs> I said, okay, Holy Ghost, I hear you. Yes. She knew the difference. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah.
ready to blow our minds for our rescue oh, house ministry. Oh, thank you. Keep flying the logo. Yes, Lord. I'm done. We're standing. I pray you got something out of it. Glory oh, yes. to God. Hallelujah. That we're word. flying the logo. Hallelujah. You, we work for Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. We got the power, y'all. We got the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. That's working in our spirit. Yes, God. Thank you, Father. That's showing us. Glory to God. Yes. That's it, Mother. Glory Thank to God. You, Jesus. Hallelujah. He's showing Fly us. The logo. Jesus. Fly the logo. <laughs> Remember, this week you work for Jesus. Yes. You're yes. advertising for him. Yes. Sister Linda, when you take care of them kids, you're advertising for them. Yes. yes. Glory to God. When you walk up in that place, yes. in y, uh, uh, y, what is it, YMCA, y yes, it, yes. you're working for Jesus. Yes. When you come in contact with them parents that may be a little snooty and think their kids was born in swaddling clothing, yes, exactly. you're working for Jesus. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you let them know. <laughs> yeah, working for Jesus. Yeah. Invite them to your church. That's right. Let them see a light. Yeah. Let them see there's something different about that lady. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. He can do it. Yes, he can. And he's doing it. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm grateful to God. Father, we thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for your word. 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 Thank you for the vessel, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the anointing, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your revelation. Thank you for your revelation. Thank you for your illumination. Thank you, Lord. And it will not return to you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Father, let this word carry us over all we God, in the name of Jesus. Let it meet us into Wednesday. In the name of Jesus. I pray a forerunner, God. Yes, God. We might have to spread out in this congregation. Yes, God. Before Wednesday, glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. The way the lives were transformed and impacted. Yes, God. God, let your glory be revealed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wonderful. For all every plot plan and scheme. Yes, God. In the name of in Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you would bless us this week. Yes, God. Fortify us. Yes, God. Strengthen us. Yes, God. Meet our needs. In the name Open of Jesus. greater doors. Yes, Lord. By fire, by force. By fire, by force. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the Jesus. mighty name of Jesus. Strengthen us, Holy Ghost. Strengthen us, Holy Ghost. Lord, I lose strength to Mother Sanders. Yes, God. Bless her in her schooling, God. In the name God. of Jesus. Touch her mind, God. In the name of Jesus. Clear up her thoughts, God. In the name of I Jesus. I know she got a lot on her plate. In the name of but Jesus. But God, this is the appointed time yes, for her to conquer this degree. Hallelujah. God, Jesus. I pray that you would illuminate her spirit. Yes, Lord Jesus. Open up her understanding. In the name of Jesus. Give her a renewed mind. Yes, God. And a renewed sense. In the name of Jesus. Of how she thinks towards her schooling hallelujah, hallelujah. in the, name of, in the Jesus, name of Jesus because you allowed her to go yes God and God you opened this door yes Lord. now God continuously to help her to make flying colors hallelujah, in Jesus. the name of Jesus Do it for your glory, Father God. I pray for evangelism yes this God week. Lord Jesus. you know what this woman of God stands in need of yes Lord Jesus we will not settle for what the devil's trying to do and what he wants to do yes God this is your vessel yes Lord she's your spokes lady yes Lord Jesus she's your evangelist Yes, Lord Jesus. She is your worshiper. Yes. She is your praise. God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Lord, raise her up. Raise her up, God. Touch her body, God. Touch and heal, God. Open greater financial doors. Lord Jesus. God, there's something need to be broken. Yes. Reveal, Holy Ghost. Reveal, Holy Ghost. Whatever it is. In the name of Jesus. Whatever it is. Break it, Lord God. Expose it, God. Lord God. God. We God. know the enemy fights. Fight. In the name of but Jesus. But God, enough is enough. Enough is enough. In the mighty name. Jesus. In the mighty name of I Jesus. command chains to be broken yes. in her life right in the name now. Of Jesus. I command bondage to be yes. broken in the name right of now Jesus. in the name right of Jesus. Hallelujah. I break every family altar. Yes, God. I cast it out now. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, give her wisdom and knowledge. Yes, God. Where she may be ignorant, oh God. Yes, God. And reveal, Holy reveal, Ghost. Holy Ghost. In the name of 
Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Deliver. Deliver, Lord. This week. This week, God. Testimony. Testimony, God. This week. This week. In the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy. Yes, God. That you're overturning. Yes, God. This wicked intention of the enemy. Overturning, Italy. God. Say that the blood is the against blood, you. The blood, the blood, the blood. In the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Jesus Father, touch Sister Linda. Touch her right now, God. in the blood. In the name of Jesus. Bless her, God. Throughout Bless her God. whole week. Hallelujah. Be a lamp unto her feet, yes, God. Lord Jesus. Ordain and order her footsteps, God. In the God. name of Jesus. Touch her household, God. Yes. Save her. Husband, God. Save them, God. Deliver and set free, God. Set Break free. chains, God. Break every chain. In the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Give her Holy Ghost, God. Yes, God. Fill her with the Holy Ghost. Fill her, with the Holy Ghost, Fill her up, Jesus. Fill her up, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And give her Holy Ghost boldness. Yes, Father, touch me now. In the name of in Jesus. The name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Strengthen my body, God. Yes, God. Help me to accomplish all that yes, I need to in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I Yes, 